Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bobby and this is Bobby Reads Tarot. And today I'm going to do a true crime reading, tarot reading, and channeling message for little Quentin Simon. Quentin Simon, okay, so I don't really know a lot of the details of this case. Like all my cases, I don't like to, to get a lot of information. Um, I believe he died in 2022, but I could be wrong. He was a little 20-month-old baby in Savannah, Georgia, who um, his mom reported him missing, and then it was determined that he was deceased. They recovered his body in basically like bits and pieces in the landfill. And I just wanted to do a reading to see if we could get any information about um, any of the details of what happened to little Quentin or what we can expect to uh, happen going forward in this trial with um, his mother, Leilani. So we are going to go ahead and get going here. For those of you who don't know, um, I'm a tarot card reader and a, and a medium. I'm just going to um, read the cards and then see if any downloads come through or any specific messages, okay? All right. So we're just going to go ahead and look at the situation as a whole as to what happened when little Simon lost, or little Quentin, excuse me. I always want to say Simon because his last name is Simon. Little Quentin lost his life. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed, I feel like, represents his mother, Leilani. This is um, emotionally unstable. Really immature, uh, emotionally volatile. Leilani never learned how to deal with her emotions in a healthy way. I feel like we're looking at just generational um, dysfunction here. So there could be even some psychological issues such as like mental health. Okay, so we could be looking at some type of either you know, personality disorder, or we're looking at some type of unmanaged anger issues. The next card we have is the Seven of Swords reversed. So Seven of Swords reversed is about just really giving up rather than, than pushing forward. Looking at this card here, we have this woman, right? She's got a bag behind her. She's got swords in the bag. She's holding an object. It looks like, what is she holding? Is it a, is she holding a sword? Looks like she's holding a bottle. And she's sitting on something and there's someone under it. They're being smashed. Looking at this, I'm wondering if, I'm starting to feel like this has something with to do with house uh, quit and passed. So they, they weren't able to determine a cause of death because of um, the condition in which his little body was found. And I don't think Leilani has really been forthcoming with information. The only thing I've seen is that he was struck by something. But I'm looking at this and I'm wondering what he was struck by. And I'm wondering if Leilani's boyfriend um, who lived there, if he knew what happened, because he said he left for work, right? And that little Quentin was asleep in the playpen. We have the chariot reversed. The chariot reversed is about going the wrong way, turbulence. This is, this is a really rough background. So I'm feeling like things were being set up for this to happen. Okay, there, there's anger or mental health issues that are not being addressed. There's a lot of turbulence. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of momentum going in the wrong direction that is leading up for this to happen. I feel like what happened to Quentin had happened before, but it was only a matter of time until it finally killed him. Okay, so I feel like whatever abuse or whatever thing that she did do to him, it had happened to him before, but this was the time it went too far. This was the time when the luck changed. 
this is the time when the luck ran out and, and it was too much. Justice reversed. Okay. So justice reversed is she's, she was hiding. She was wanting to get away with what it was that she was doing, but it was only a matter of time before her luck would run out, you know, and we're seeing that here with this wheel of fortune reversed. So I do feel like she, her luck has run out. I, we're going to continue to see what other cards we're going to get, but I do feel like she is going to be found like guilty of whatever the, I'm not sure what her charges are, but I do feel like she's going in the direction of being found guilty of whatever the harshest, um, uh, charges are she will be found guilty and I do think she's going to get one of if not the harshest punishment okay so then we have the ten of swords reversed this is ending suffering so I'm wondering we we were getting all of the swords right I'm wondering if there was an injury with Quentin where he was either stabbed or cut with something or he was hit with something that then caused, it's just so weird because there was no blood evidence. I don't know why we're getting all of the swords. There's a lot of karma in this family. Like this is generational karma that needed to sort itself out. So this is like, this is not just with Leilani. Okay. And this is not just like with her mother. And I think her mother is a big part of this. I think this goes back even farther into like previous generations. I would be so curious to know the family history. You know, who are they? What have they been through? What is the family story? Because I'm sure if we had the full family story, it would paint a very clear picture as to why we are where we are today. Then we have the hermit reversed. Again, this is immaturity. Leilani was just, I'm not sure how old she was um, when all of this happened, but this is just like, this is, this is so much immaturity. And then it's immaturity. And then it's beyond that. It's like, it's like not even ha ever having been told. Okay. It's like immaturity and then a lack of just basic information. Seven of Wands reversed. This is an environment, again, of just being vulnerable. Everyone in this environment was vulnerable. And I think that they all ended up not leaving unscathed. So I'm sure that Leilani had abuse that led to her being the type of mother that she is and led to exactly this situation that happened. We have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands talks about wanting wanting a good outcome, wanting good news. I think Leilani is hopeful that she's going to be able somehow to get herself out of this situation, but she's not. She's going to be held accountable. It's judgment day, and she has to atone for every single one of her sins. And the sins are pretty, pretty big, pretty massive. I don't know if we're going to get the full story of what actually happened. So let's get some other cards here. Let's play with some other decks and see what other information we can get from little Quentin regarding what happened. Okay. So let's look at, can we get information on what actually happened? How did little Quentin lose his life? Let's get four cards. It's one, two, we're just going to stop with that. We're going to keep going. Okay. Self-sabotage medical emergency. So right away, I'm feeling like 
Leilani was responsible. She did something. She knew that if she kept doing it, it was not going to end well. But she just kept doing it. She just is like she knew that it how this was going to end. She knew um, that she was going to end up pushing it too far. That something was going to happen, and that she was going to end up in jail. But she did it anyway. She just kept. She kept doing it. She kept pushing it one more time, one more time. Okay, so let's get two more cards here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I do feel like that there was someone else involved, and I do feel like it was the boyfriend. I feel like the boyfriend knew, and I've kind of always felt like there had to be, and it, this could also be her mother. I'm sure her mother knew as well. Um, so whatever happened, it's something that had been happening before, like we saw. It's it, it, She was getting comfortable with this type of abuse because she had done it before, but this time was different. There was a plot twist. Something changed, and it led to this, this medical emergency. Something happened. I do think that she spoke with someone, whether it was the mother or the boyfriend. I'm feeling like it was the boyfriend, but they talked before he passed away. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I do feel like that they could have saved him if they would have sought medical treat treatment, but because they didn't, because they were afraid that they were going to get in trouble, they, um, they didn't and he passed away. But I do think he would have lived had he, had they taken him to the doctor or to seek, um, medical treatment. Let's see here. I'm going to get three cards. We have the Emperor. We have the Two of Wands reversed. And we have the Eight of Swords. So it was the boyfriend who made the choice. Oh, look at this. Ultimate authority rests with him. He was the one who decided, no, we're not taking him into the doctor. Leilani wanted to take him into the doctor. But he said, no, if you take him in, you're going to go to jail for this. And this was a decision. So they had to make a decision. What are we going to do? Are we going to take him to the doctor? Are we not going to take him to the doctor? Ultimately, the wrong decision was made. The boyfriend made the wrong decision. And Leilani felt like she didn't have a choice. She did have a choice. She was the mother. She had the ultimate choice. But she felt like she had to go along with what the boyfriend said, what her mother said. So she just did what they told her to do because she felt like she didn't have any other choice. And so she went out, she went along with it and she allowed it to happen. They told her, they told her, this is what we're going to do. We're going to wait. We're going to see what happens when he ended up passing away. They knew that the garbage was going to be, was going to go out that morning. And so they had her take Quentin's little body and put it in the dumpster and then wait until after the trash was picked up and then had her call 911. And that in her voice that we hear, that hysteria, that is her coming to terms with the fact that like she threw her baby away. I think that that was real like terror and horror in her voice, but I think it was for herself at what she did to little Quentin's body. Yeah. Okay. I really feel like that is what happened. And I don't want to channel this, that anymore. Cause it's just, it's so hard with like little ones to channel that kind of stuff. And I just, I feel like that was really clear. We got those answers. So I want to move on from what happened to Quentin. I want to look at this. Um, I want to look at this court case. I want to see 
what's going to happen. But I also want to see if we're going to find out if the boyfriend is going to be linked or brought up on charges. Because I very much, oh, by the way, I should always state this. This is all alleged, my opinion, no facts, tarot card reading in my downloads. If you're here for news, uh, this is not the spot, okay? And um, yeah, that's all. Be kind to one another in the comments, please. All right. And if you have made it this far, give the video a thumbs up, please. Okay. So I want to see um, what is going to happen with this trial. Let's look at Leilani's trial. She's up against it. Yeah. This is not going to end well for her. And I do feel like she might... Um, she has a choice to make. Okay. So we have this two of pentacles reversed. So she has a choice to make, uh, whether she's going to implicate the boyfriend or not. The tough thing with implicating the boyfriend is then she has to admit her part in it. And I don't think she's willing to do that. So that's where we're at this. Oh, look at this. This literally says your life is in the balance. We have temperance reverse. She's got choices to make. She's got things that she needs to balance out and and to figure out but right now it's all about exit ex excess and overflow there is such a lack of balance we have the sun reversed the sun reversed is disorientation it's things not going your way we have the eight of wands reversed eight of wands reversed is about altercations fighting delays regression moving backwards then we have the five of wands when monsters fight. I do think her mother and her boyfriend might be implicated or might be brought up in her defense. So her defense could perhaps be that she didn't have a choice and that her mother and her boyfriend forced her to do it. Yes, it wasn't her choice. It was her partner. She had to do what he told her to do. He was the one calling the shots here and she had to go along with it. And her hope is that she's going to be able to, to create enough doubt that she's going to be able to get rid of her own, um, her own responsibility in what's happening because she's going to try to make it seem like it was this group effort I, you know, I could see additional charges being brought up on the boyfriend or the mother. I really could. Huh, that's really interesting. Okay, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to stop here with this one today because I feel like this was a pretty fast reading. I feel like we got, um, we really got to the heart of what happened to poor little Quentin. And I feel like it's going to be pretty cut and dry with the mother. I do feel like the, her mother and her boyfriend definitely have had more involvement in this than, um, what we've heard, but I do think in the trial that more of that's going to come out. So if you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're ever uh, curious and to know what decks I use, you can check out uh, my description box down below. There is a link to my website and on my website, I link all of the different decks that I use. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.